There we go. Once again, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for being here. For those students who have no idea who I am, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Maurice, and I'll be your teacher in this module, in the module number three. Please, guys, before starting this class, I would like you to start your cameras. It's pretty important for me. Remember, each of our classes will be streamed on YouTube. So that's pretty important that you guys keep your cameras on. Well, for today's class, we are going to keep working on the present simple tense. Remember, the structure that you practice and learn from the previous module, from the module number one and also from the module number two. Remember, in the module one and the module two, you start a different structure. In this one, the module number three, you will learn how to put in practice everything that you know by now in practice. Well, for today's class, we are going to practice the present simple tense using the adverse of frequency and also, quite important, the questions. So, for our class, or for today's class, we are going to focus in two different objectives. Objective number one is going to be about uh, the present simple tense, adverse of frequency, and also the question. I'm so sorry for the noise that comes from the street over there. So please give a minute. Please. Please don't go. Too much noise over here. This is unbelievable. Every time I start my class in the afternoon, something come up. Something like this. I'm sorry guys for the noise. It's not in my house. All this noise comes from the street. Okay. Well, yesterday guys, yesterday I asked you to send some activities, remember? You should have learned a video. Use your cell phone, record yourself about your activities. You have introduced yourself to personal information and then shared your everyday activities. Remember? Well, so basically, this is the present simple tense. How to describe our activities since the moment you wake up up to the moment you go to bed to sleep. All right? So today we're going to focus on that, but we're going to use the adverse of frequency. Okay? So give me a minute. Please give a minute. It's too much noise. Let, let me look for another spot. Okay, I'm so sorry, dear students. Jesus. I was looking for another spot in my house. It was difficult. Well, let's continue. So, as I said earlier, today we're going to focus on the adverse of frequency and how to use it correctly and also on how to make a question in the present simple tense. So, my question for you, dear students, what comes to your mind when you hear the words 
frequency. What is for you the frequency? What does frequency mean? Anyone can tell me about the word frequency? What's for you frequency? What comes to your mind when you hear the word frequency? No one? I can't believe it. Frequency. Can you can you read it? Frequency. Frequency. What is the frequency for you? What's frequency? Frequency. Okay. Frequency, yes, thank you. Basically is that. But frequency is what do we use to denotate how many times we do a certain activity? I wanted you guys to remember from the previous module, module number two, the adverse of frequency. Let me share my screen to show you something. Okay. Adverse of frequency. What comes to your mind about the adverse of frequency? Who's remembered the adverse of frequency? Anyone? Okay, perfect. Yes, always is an adverse of frequency. Another example? Sometimes. Usually, sometimes, what else? Okay, always. Usually, sometimes, what else? I need you to give me feedback. Excuse me. Okay, often, perfect. What else? Excuse me? Oh. Okay, what else? I'm sorry for the noise, so sorry. This called Perrido, it's not from my house, it's from the street. Okay, what else? Always, usually, sometimes, often, rarely. One is missing. Okay, bring it on. One is missing. Okay, let me help you. Sell them. Okay. So these are the adverse of frequency, okay? So we have seven a day. There are more of them, obviously, but we're going to focus on this one. Seven different adverse of frequency. Don't forget, always, usually, sometimes, often, readily, never, seldom. So when or what do we use the adverse of frequency for? Who's remember that? Can you read my question here? What do we use the adverse of frequency for? What do we use the adverse of frequency for? Anyone? Hmm, interested. Interesante. Para que utilizamos los adverbios de frecuencia? ¿Quién se acuerda? Ok, Andrea, that's correct. But remember, utilizamos básicamente los adverbios de frecuencia para denotar cuán a menudo hacemos cierta actividad. Cada uno de nosotros probablemente tengamos la misma actividad a diario, pero la diferencia la va a ser la frecuencia con la que realicemos esa actividad. Todos nosotros quizás escuchamos música, todos nosotros quizás vemos televisión, todos nosotros nos bañamos y nos cepillamos los dientes todos los días, ¿verdad? ¿O no? Ok, yes, 
tenemos que hacerlo a diario pero bueno, esa es la diferencia es la frecuencia con lo que hacemos entonces en el present simple nosotros aprendimos que es para denotar todas las actividades que hacemos desde el momento que nos levantamos hasta que nos volvemos a acostar por ejemplo, mi actividad I listen to music I I listen to music esto es una actividad que quizás la hagamos todos la que va a hacer la diferencia es la frecuencia en mi caso I usually listen to music I usually listen to music probably somebody says I always listen to music you know it's the same activity but the frequency is different or probably somebody says well I never listen to music I never listen to music all right so as you know guys it's the same activity but the adverse of frequency is different okay so let's practice let me share my screen once again and you will see what we're talking about let me share my screen give a minute okay there we go so this is the address of frequency and this is my example remember you say I listen to music there we go I listen to music this is an activity esto es una actividad, escuchar música. Another activity that I probably do every day is I watch TV. I read books. Three different activities. Well, listen to music, watch TV, and read books. Three activities. So what do we need? The average of frequency to denote how many or how often we do these activities. In my case, I will say I sometimes, I'm sorry, we get a mistake in here. Okay, give a minute. I will say I sometimes listen to music. That is my frequency. Sometimes is my frequency. Probably different from yours. This one. I readily watch TV. This is my frequency. And the last one. I usually read books. You see? I usually read books. Well, that's my frequency. Sometimes, rarely, and usually are the adverse of frequency. So don't forget, we use this to denote how many times we do a certain activity. Now, it's time to practice. In the next activity, this class or this meeting will be split into break rooms. What are we going to do? Let me explain. Okay, can you see my screen? Can anyone see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. Well, it's time to practice. We have a big question here. How often? Can you read this? How often do you? How often do you? How often means cuan a menudo. How often? Cuan a menudo. And then we have the question structure. Do you? Do you? How often do you? Is a question, you see? In other words, this means Cuan a menudo? And then we carry out an activity. For example, Activity number one Drink coffee And then made a question How often do you drink coffee? How often do you drink coffee? Cuando a menudo bebes café? Always, 
usually, sometimes, seldom, readily, or never. What is your adverse of frequency for this question? How often do you drink coffee? If I want to answer this one, well, I will write in this way. Please give me a minute. And I will say, I always drink coffee. You see? I always drink coffee. Next question. In the next question, we have what she closed. What she closed means lavar tu ropa. How often do you watch your clothes? ¿Cuándo a menudo lavas tu ropa? Always, usually, sometimes, never. Well, it's up to you. Next one. Watch a video. Ver un video. Next activity. Go to a fat food restaurant. Fat food restaurant means, well, it's a place where you're going to need fries, hamburgers, hot dogs, things like that. Then we have another activity. Clean your room. Limpiar tu cuarto. Go a dentist. Ir al dentista. Go a dentist. Next one. Buy new shoes. Comprar calzado nuevo. Make your own breakfast. Hacer tu propio desayuno. Cut your fingers nails. Cortarse las uñas. And the last one. Catch a cold. Pescar un resfriado. So these are the activities. Okay? So I'm going to make a question. And you guys going to answer. We're going to practice. This is going to be the practice number one. Remember, how often do you drink coffee? How often do you watch your clothes? How often do you watch a video? And so on. You will have three minutes, three minutes only to think about these questions. After this time, I'm going to pick some students to practice with me the adverbs of frequency, okay? Prepare your answer. You have three minutes. Don't forget, dear students, try to keep your cameras on during the class. Two minutes left. One minute left.
Okay guys, that's fantastic. So do you tell me, are you ready? I will need some volunteers, please, to start activity. Just click on the button and raise your hands. Please, any volunteer, I'm going to ask you to fit question. We need to interact one to another. Anyone to participate with me? Just click on the button and let's start activity. Okay, Ms. Andrea, thank you very much. So it's time to practice. Question number one for you. How often I, did you watch a video? I usually, I usually go to a fast food restaurant. Okay, give a minute, stop. Listen, listen, Ms. Andrea. Okay. I'm gonna make you some questions and you answer, okay? Question, you answer. Number one, how often do you watch a video? No problem. How often do you watch a video? I often play on your phone. Okay, that's nice. Next question for you. How often do you go to a dentist? I How often do you go to a dentist? Don't you get it? No? Okay, miss. Thank you. Listen, please relax. First of all, I need you to relax. Primero, yo quiero que ustedes relax, se tranquilicen. Esta es la forma que necesitamos practicar inglés. Hablando. We need, I need you to speak. Lo que yo estoy realizando en este momento son las preguntas. How often? How often do you? ¿Cuán a menudo vas al dentista? Yo siempre voy al dentista. Yo algunas veces voy al dentista. Yo rara vez. Yo nunca voy al dentista. All right? So the question is, how often do you go to a dentist? I always go to a dentist. Uh, I sometimes go to a dentist. All right? Is according to the question, you answer it. Okay? Let me pick up another student. We need to practice. Let me see another student. Let me pick it up. Miss Ginger Castro, can you hear me? Hello, Ginger. Hello, Hello Miss. Hello, good afternoon, Miss. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, that's fantastic. Question number one for you How often do you go to a fat food restaurant? I rarely go to a fast food restaurant. Okay, that's fantastic. Next question. Listen, please. How often do you clean your room? I usually clean my room. How often do you buy new shoes? Repeat. How often do you buy new shoes? I send them in Let's question. How often do you cut your finger's nails? I rarely cut my fingers nails. Okay, that's fantastic, miss. You see? That was what I'm talking about. Okay, let's pick up a noble student. Evelyn Peña, can you hear me? Evelyn, can you hear me? Good afternoon. Okay, Evelyn, can you hear me, Miss Coaches? Yes, yes. Okay, question number one for you. How often do you listen to music? My... Next question. How often do you study English? How often do you study English? What? 
Do you understand the question? How often do you study English? No? Don't you understand? Okay, relax. Thank you, Ms. Evelyn. No problem. Wow, that's fantastic. Okay, let me pick up the last students. Mr. Garces. Can you hear me? Yes, yeah. Okay, here we go. Question number one for you. How often did you play soccer? I, I never play soccer. How often did you play video games? I, I always play video games. How often did you sleep in the afternoon? Um, I, I always how often do you watch video on YouTube? Uh, how often do you study English? Uh, uh, I rarely study English. Okay, no problem. Thank you, Mr. Gonzalez. No problem. Okay, guys, so basically that is the way. Please, our objective right now is work with the adverbs of frequency always, usually, often, sometimes, seldom, rarely, or never. These are the adverbs of frequency. It's pretty important. Remember, the structure is that one for the main question. Let me share once again my screen and let's carry out the next activity let me close this for a while and there you go ok, now listen please ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahora? yo necesito que ustedes me practiquen porque va a llegar el día que vamos a hacer la actividad de speaking y todos van a tener que hablar ok Recordemos que estamos ahora en tercer nivel. En este tercer nivel no debería estar hablando español o castellano. Lo que estamos viendo, como les dije el día de ayer cuando iniciamos las clases, tercer nivel básicamente es un repaso de nivel 1 y nivel 2. Lo que estamos viendo aquí es plasmar sus conocimientos previos y trabajándolo en contexto. Ok, lo estamos trabajando en un contexto. Aquí indirectamente estamos viendo el present simple y estamos viendo preguntas. Porque aquí tenemos la palabra do you y esto ustedes lo aprendieron. ¿Recuerdan? Do you es una pregunta en present simple. Lo que vamos a hacer ahorita es darle un giro. Vamos a trabajar ahora en terceras personas. Espero que se acuerden lo que es terceras personas. Ok. Voy a dividir la sala en pequeños grupos, grupos de a cuatro. Cada uno de ustedes pues van a hacer o van a preguntarse la respectiva información que está aquí y van a obtener información uno del otro. Lo que yo deseo y voy a estar monitoreando las aulas es que practique. ¿De qué forma lo vamos a hacer? Imaginemos. A mí me tocó en este instante con Tamara, con Jennifer y con Andrea. Estoy en mi grupo, ¿ok? Entonces, yo comienzo. Uno debe comenzar y preguntarle a los tres. Yo comienzo y le digo, How often do you drink coffee? How often do you drink coffee? ¿Qué significa cuán a menudo bebes café? Ok, how often do you drink coffee? Le hago esta pregunta a Tamara. Y Tamara me responde, I usually drink coffee. I usually drink coffee. Ustedes en su cuaderno, pues, van a hacer lo siguiente. Van a utilizar el nombre de sus compañeros y a completar. Entonces yo pongo aquí, Tamara, usually drink coffee entonces yo me pongo a analizar esta oración ¿qué le falta? ¿o qué está mal ahí? ¿se acuerdan de las terceras personas? 
¿Qué pasó con los verbos? ¿Qué se le debe agregar a los verbos cuando trabajamos en terceras personas? ¿Alguien se acuerda? No, eso es present continuous. Ok, let me help you. Correct, la letra S. That's it. Tamara usually drinks coffee. Ok, that's perfect. Entonces yo continúo. Imaginemos, ahora le pregunto a Andrea. How often do you watch you closed? How often do you watch you close? Y Andrea responde. I always watch my closed. Oh, ya respondió, entonces yo hago, apunto. Andrea, always watch your closed. ¿Qué está mal aquí? Ok, si le ponemos ese aquí, ¿estará bien eso? No, no, what? ¿Qué sucede con este tipo de verbos? Acuérdese. Verbos que terminan en SH, terceras personas, ¿qué se le aumenta? ES, muy bien. So, Andrea always washes. Acá tenemos no un error de gramática, pero sí un error de concordancia. Ahí dice Andrea siempre lava tu ropa. Sería la de ella. En vez de your, ¿qué debería poner? Try to remember, guys, please. Her. 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 Perfect. That's it. ¿Ok? Entonces vamos a trabajarlo de esa forma. Recuerde. Van a haber cuatro estudiantes por, uh, por cada grupo. Todos van a interactuar porque yo necesito que esto usted me lo envíe después con la información de sus compañeros. Ya lleno. Esto de aquí. Algo importante antes de seguir. Practique. No vaya a ser que le diga. Andrea. Andrea, how often do you drink coffee? Y Andrea me dice, never, 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 never. Never, never. No tiene sentido. O, o le pregunto a Tamara, Tamara, how often do you watch your clothes? Ponle usually, ponle usually. No, no tiene sentido. Tiene que intentar hacerlo bien. How often do you drink coffee? I always drink coffee. Ya te contesto antes la nota. Andrea always drinks coffee. Tamara, how often do you watch your clothes? I usually watch my clothes. Ah, oh, Tamara usually washes her clothes and so on. Okay? Please give a minute. I'm going to split and share the file. Give a minute. Please give me a minute.
Okay, students, that's the link. Click on the link and download the activity. Just got the activity that, please. Click on the link and download the activity. Remember, you will be in group of four students. I need you to practice one to another, the average of frequency. For this activity, you will have 16 minutes. 15 minutos. Usted me va a tener que generar un reporte de la información de sus compañeros en tercera persona. Third person, right? I'm going to monitor each group. Try to speak English. Do not answer anything in Spanish. Do not say always, always. Yo sué, yo sué. Bebe café, yo sué. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí, ponle nunca, nunca, nunca. No, that's not the way. I need you to practice. That's the point of this activity. Okay? So give a minute. There you go. Good luck. In some group there are five students, in other groups there are 40 students. So practice, please. One to another. Practice. 15 minutes. 15 minutos. Go ahead.
Mr. Jefferson tiene que ingresar a su grupo. Jefferson, está usted en el grupo 1. ¿Cómo me invito? Usted está para el grupo número 1. Tiene que ingresar. Cuando ingrese en el grupo 1. Da una opción donde le indique ingresar ya.
Pueden ver, compañeros. Sí. Seguimos practicando. Les pregunto o ustedes quieren preguntar. Ya salimos de la sala grupal, por si acaso. Oh, Austin. Okay, dear students, that was fantastic. Well, I checked all the rooms. Congratulations, those students who really practice. Thumbs up. Thank you. Well, let's continue. Give a minute. I think I got a problem with my video. There we go. Sometimes it's pretty dark in here. There you go. Okay. Thank you, guys. So let's continue. Now, let's see some tips about the adverse of frequency. So give a minute. Okay, dear students, thank you. Well, as I said, we use the address of frequency to denote how often we do a certain activity. For example, I want you to look at this picture. Two young women eating in the restaurant. So what is the activity? In here, drink and eat. But we can use the address of frequency to denote how often do these women do that activity? And then we have they always drink tea with lunch. Okay, I want you to check up this. When we're talking about 100%, so that means that we always do that activity, we use the address of frequency always, as you see on your screen. Mary always eat lunch at school. Then we have the adverse of frequency, usually. You see? Always, usually. Then, often is another adverse of frequency. Sometimes, seldom, rarely, and never. So these are the hours of frequency. Something quite important in here, guys, is please try to realize the position of the adverse of frequency. As you can see, the adverse of frequency goes between subject and the verb. Okay? Los adverbios de frecuencia comúnmente van entre el sujeto y el verbo principal. Como usted observa, En las dos primeras oraciones tenemos a Mary y el mismo verbo que es eat, conjugado en terceras personas. Mary always eats, Mary usually eats, ¿ok? In the same way with the others, adverse of frequency. Then we have Josh, often, Tia, sometimes, Tia, seldom, if Eva rarely and Jane never. So these are the hours of frequency. Let's continue. Okay, I want you to look at the next schedule. You see the schedule? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. What is the correct address of frequency for this exercise? Always. Always. Correct. Always. Yes, it's always because it's repeat the action every day. Sunday to Sunday. We repeat every day. What about this one? What's the correct advert for this exercise? Brotherly. 
Okay, we can use some time solver there. What about this one? Please, everyone look at this schedule and tell me. Anyone? Okay, let's check it out. Usually. What about this one? Something. Okay, perfect. Okay, something quite important, remember, the third person spelling rules. When we're talking about the third person, so that's means that our subject can be either a man or a woman, and sometimes can be considered the word eat as a third person. I want you to look at this one. You see the word? Goes is the third person. She goes to the library once a week. Perfect. Let me stop. Please give me a minute. Okay, there's the students. So that's the way how to work with the adverse of frequency. All right. Now let's continue the next part. Please give a minute. Let me share my screen once again. I'm sorry for the noise. Okay, can you see my screen now? Okay, Jesus, I think I get the problem. Please give a minute. Okay, let me share my screen again. There we go. Okay, this is the next activity. Well, as you can see in this exercise, these are questions. Questions in present simple tense. You see? Questions. What's the problem in here? Well, actually, these questions are incomplete. As you can see, they're not completed. Each sentence needs something. In other words, Something is missing to complete these questions. For example, take a look over here. What have for breakfast? Well, it's a question. You probably said, teacher, is that a question? Yes. Look, here we have the question mark. You see the question mark? But it's an incomplete question. In order to make question, what do we need in the present simple tense? Who's remember? For making question, what do we need? How often? Excuse me? How often do Para realizar preguntas, recordemos que necesitábamos algo que se le denominaba verbos auxiliares. ¿Cuáles son? Cuidado, cuidado. Correct. Do and does. Thank you, Andrea. That's correct. Do, does, we need for making questions. Remember? <coughs> I'm sorry. From the previous exercise, we said how often do you do you well do is the auxiliary verb for making questions in other words let's check out this look you see this one what have for breakfast is an incomplete question 
for making question we have these words we can say do you or another option for the third person is does does he do you do they do we do you does he does it and so on now let's analyze the question number one okay give a minute if I want to complete the question number one we say what do you have for for breakfast and this is a complete question aquí tenemos ya una pregunta completa la de abajo está incompleta y en la parte de arriba ya está completa what do you have for breakfast what do you have for breakfast now let's move on to the number two who can help me ¿Quién me ayuda con esto de aquí? ¿Cómo la completo? Excuse me, could you repeat again? Okay, but give it a complete question. I think you get problem with your microphone. I can barely hear you. Okay. Where do you go? Where do you go for your holiday? This is a complete question. Where did you go for your holidays? Let's move on to the next one. Who can help me in this one? This is an incomplete question. Can anyone help me? Okay, go ahead, go ahead, mister. How many? How many? How many? Okay, almost. The correct way is how many hours? How many hours? Do you? work in a day how many hours do you work in a day you see so here is complete questions what is going to be your task su siguiente actividad para el próximo día lunes es la siguiente esta es la actividad que yo le pasé el día de ayer. Está en la página número 2, es que no me equivoco. 3, perdón. En la página 3, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Número 1, usted me va a enviar un archivo con las preguntas ya completas, utilizando do you. Por el momento, do you. Acabamos de ver esto. Usted va a la siguiente, como lo que está aquí. Esto es una pregunta incompleta, pues usted la forma y la hace una pregunta completa con do you, what do you wear for parties? De la misma forma continúa aquí, where do you do your shopping? In the same way the other question, how often do you go to a restaurant? You see? Ahora usted tendrá que tener un banco de preguntas de todas estas de aquí. ¿Ok? ¿Qué vamos a hacer el día lunes? En la última media hora, pues, todos van a participar conmigo. ¿De qué forma? Necesito que usted me prepare las respuestas de todas estas preguntas. Como por ejemplo, What do you have for breakfast? ¿Qué desayunas? Where do you go for your holidays? ¿Dónde vas para los feriados? How many hours do you work in a day? ¿Cuántas horas trabajas en un día? Y así con las demás. Me va a tener que preparar las respuestas, sus respuestas. Por eso todas las preguntas pues comienzan con do you, do you, alright? Now guys, you tell me. 
Any questions so far? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta aquí? You tell me. ¿Cómo? Hmm. I think you get problem. All of you get problem. I don't know if it's my computer, but no sé si es mi computadora, pero no logro escucharlos bien. Por favor, escriba su, su requerimiento. No logro, no logro entenderlo. Bien, chicos, entonces, lo que vamos a ver en esta semana y la próxima es relacionado al present simple tense. Esto indica que la próxima semana va a ir también anexada una tabla con los verbos. Necesitamos también practicar esta parte de los verbos para así poder desarrollar más, pues, nuestras competencias, en este caso la destreza de hablar yo necesito aquí en este módulo que usted me comience a hablar así como lo hizo en los grupos lo felicito a aquellos que estuve monitoreando y lo hicieron bien ok ya no voy a dar más grammar, no grammar exercises no hay más ejercicios de gramática conmigo en este módulo necesito que hable, speak ok, necesito que hable this is no mathematics, no es matemática is a language, es un idioma, ok? The only way to practice is by speaking. You need to speak to increase your knowledge. How to speak or to communicate with other people. That's the way, period. Ok, no questions, por favor escriba sus preguntas, creo que es mi computadora, no logro entenderlos. Okay, dear students, well, that's it for today. Okay, we have a question. Claro, si usted, si usted tiene la habilidad de transformar el archivo, pues hágalo, no hay problema. Puede transformarlo de PDF a Word. Uh, we have another uh, question. Yesterday, I could not attend. Where can I find the file that mentioned for the task? Yes, no problem. Give a minute. Give me a minute. I'll get the file for you ya le comparto el archivo please give a minute ok, I think it's this one ok, let me see Okay, so that is the link for the previous activity. We have another question. Mister, where can I find? Where can I find the document of the assignment? That one. So click on the link and download the previous file. Okay, thank you very much, dear student. That's it for today. And I'll see you the next week on Monday. Remember, tomorrow Friday, no classes. Our schedule, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Friday, no. Okay, so thank you very much for having me and I'll see you the next week on Monday. Prepare yourself. Prepárese por favor con las preguntas que vamos a trabajar la primera actividad California.